Let me know if it's working, you guys. Let me know if you can hear me and if you can see me and if I can see you guys. Looks like I can see some comments coming in, possibly. What is happening? I'm a bit new here. What happened to Shelby? Um, oh, excuse me. So, for those of you that may be new, oh, I should have put that playlist up for you guys to see. Uh, back in, what was it now, guys? November? In November, Shelby was diagnosed with a malignant tumor. She had a lump removed by the base of her tail. It was malignant. Uh, and since then, she has had other small lumps removed that thankfully all have come back as benign. Most recently, she had two lumps removed, one off the back of her neck. You can see the shaved spot on her neck here, and then one on her side. And we just got the results of those back. And if you guys are subscribed over at youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs, and you already know, um, if you're not subscribed over there, there's a link to our vlog channel down in the video description below if you guys want to subscribe over there. There's also a link to our cooking channel. But anyway, the good news is Shelby's other two lumps that she had came back benign. They were non-cancerous. They were just little lumps, non-cancerous, nothing to worry about. So we're super, super excited about that. And I couldn't wait to share that news with you guys. And uh, yeah, so like I said, some of you may have already seen it because it was over on the vlog channel. But that is our little Shelby update. Uh, it seems like we've already got quite a few people that have come into the stream. So if you guys have never been to one of our live streams before, basically what we do is we sit here and we check out the cute little puppy dogs. And Miss Oakley is over here sleeping. She's uh, over here taking a nap. <laughs> And um, we try to answer your questions. This is a Q&A. You guys can drop questions in the comments. The way it normally works is if you use Super Chat to ask a question, we answer those first. And then anything that is not a Super Chat, all the other questions that come in, I just try to answer as many as I can. So basically, Super Chat kind of guarantees you an answer. Otherwise, you guys can see how fast the comments are going by. I really do just try to answer as many questions as we can. Uh, for those of you that don't know how to do super chat, there's a little like dollar sign next to the uh, your little chat box. You just click on that and then you can put in an amount. Um, anything five dollars and above like gets highlighted up at, up at the top. One of these days I'm gonna put like a link down there so you guys can understand how super chat works. Super chat basically is just another way to help support our channel as well. Now that we've got all of that out of the way, Oh wait, there was one more thing. There's also another link down in the video description for our calendars. We don't have that many left, but they are on sale for $15. So if you're still looking for a 2018 calendar, you can get an awesome Gone to the Snow Dogs calendar for just $15. Again, just another way to help support the channel. So now, let's get into it. Let's get into some questions. Speedy Bean says, you guys are so awesome. I'm so glad I will be able to watch your channels. I was wondering if you will ever get another type of dog. Um, we kind of really have a soft spot for huskies. I mean, if you can't tell, this is really, <laughs> are you going to be crazy? The... Oh, you're going to be upside down? You are the cutest. St How can you not love huskies? Look at that. Are you being cute for everybody? You are adorable. Would we ever get another dog? We have talked about getting a Malamute. We've talked about getting a Samoyed. I think if we ever got another breed of dog, it would be a Northern breed. As for another dog in general, which I think is more of what your question was, like, would we ever actually get another dog? Um, I'm sure eventually we will get another dog. Um, I think we could handle four, especially with Oakley getting a little bit older, and even Shelby. I mean, you know... Shelby is 10. Oakley will be 14 this year. So I'm sure eventually we'll get another dog. Dun, dun, dun. Do you like your dogs very much? And what was your first dog? Valerie asked that. Uh, yeah, of course we like our dogs very much. My first dog was a St. Bernard, actually. I grew up with a St. Bernard. Jamie and I's first dog together, we actually had a mutt dog. It was a, um, I don't, Memphis, what are you doing over here? It was a lab beagle mix. We didn't have him for very long. We ended up giving him to some people that lived on a farm because he just, he, we were both working full time and he just needed more time. And we found this really awesome family who liked him. And we're like, you know, you guys can probably go ahead and, and just take him home with you. 
Rosa Mo Rosa Mor Moran Moran Rosa Moran. Thank you for the super chat. Says, do you think you'll be able to go sledding soon? Believe it or not, we actually did that today, and the video on that will probably go up on Wednesday on this channel. And you guys will be extremely happy to know that even though we said she wasn't going to do it anymore, Miss Fluffy Butt Oakley actually pulled the sled for a little bit today. And we got it on camera. She, she pulled the sled for a little bit today. She had a good time doing it, too. Whoa, hi, Super Up Close Memphis. Shelby, why is it every time I do a live stream you want to play with squeaky balls? Every time, huh? Every time. She's like, wait, where did the ball go? Oh, hold on, let's move this back here. I really need to get a gimbal for this so this is less shaky. And we're gonna wrestle. Hey, look, 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 look. Here. <laughs> I'll give you your squeaky ball back. Um, when did Memphis the, oh, a cute name. Uh, when did Shelby start getting lumps? Hope she is okay. Uh, she started getting them, I don't know. She's had a couple of them, but the cancerous one started in November. What are the causes of the bumps? We don't really know. Sometimes lumps and bumps are fairly common on dogs. Hey, girls, can we do this without chaos? Um, lumps and bumps are fairly common in a lot of dogs. Sometimes it's just genetic. Sometimes more breeds, breeds are more, um, what, what would that be called? Prone to get lumps and bumps. Whoa, you just threw that ball at me. What the heck was that? Oh my goodness. Oh, the chaos of live streaming with dogs. I guess we're going to have to stand up, aren't we? We're going to have to. How about you get up on the couch over here? Come here, you get up over here. Here, 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 here. Get up here. Yeah, get up there. Go up there on the couch. Be all cute on the couch. Look at you. Look at you being all cute on the couch with our new couch cover. Yeah, you like this couch cover, huh? It's so soft. It's so soft. <laughs> oh, now these two are going to play. You're supposed to be tired. Rosa Moran, thank you again for another super chat, says, if you get another husky, would it be a puppy or one closer to Memphis's age to keep her as the other two get older and start to slow down? Um, I really don't know. I don't know if it would end up being a puppy or an adult dog. It's really just going to depend on when and what ends up being available. Because it might be a rescue, it might be a puppy. We don't really know. Phoenix Baby says, thank you for the super chat, says, how much do the dog, how much do the dogs weigh and how tall are they? I don't actually know how tall they are. I couldn't measure them. Val, thank you for the super chat. Um, they, how much do they weigh? Oakley's 51 pounds. Shelby is, Shelby. <laughs> Shelby. Shelby. Oh my goodness. I think Shelby's 55. Four or 55 and Memphis is like 53. So Oakley's actually the smallest husky we have right now. Husky Tales, thank you for the super chat, says hello from Belding, Michigan, from us and our pack. And I saw Thor Unleashed is in here and he said, did I just walk in while you're talking about getting a fourth husky? Well, we're talking about what would happen if we got a fourth husky. Do you think I could handle more? Look at this chaos I have to handle every time I do a live show. These girls just can't behave for a short little live show. They just gotta act like this. <laughs> uh, Pika, thank you for the super chat, says, Hi Jess, what was the moment that made you want to adopt Oakley for sure? Um, we ended up moving into this house and knew that we wanted to get a third dog. And I think when she showed up was the moment we knew that she was the one we wanted, if that makes sense. We had looked at quite a few before that. And I'd gone to, you know, did a lot of stuff on, like, shelters and rescues. So we had actually looked at quite a few before we ended up with Oakley. Somebody asked if the dogs could sing. I guess we are nine minutes into this. Maybe that'll help calm them down a little bit. I like being able to sit down with this because I feel like it's a little too shaky. <laughs> um, and also for anybody just joining, the update on Shelby's lumps... The two lumps that she most recently had removed, the one from her neck and the one from her side, did come back as benign. So there's the little update on that. We did talk about it a little bit more over at our vlog channel, which there's links for that down in the video description below if you want to check that out. Do we want to get them to sing? All right, fair warning. Anybody with headphones, 
they're loud. And I have no control over the volume because I'm doing this on my phone. So let's see if we can get them to sing, shall we? Do you, okay, here, wait, time out. Nobody believes Oakley can make it up on the couch. Look, Oakley can make it up on the couch. You can. I see you up there. But I'm going to move my shoes because that's what you tripped on last time. I shouldn't leave them there. I know. But I just got home. But Oakley can make it up on the couch. Rosa Moran wants to know if Oakley has done couch zoomies. She did the other day for a little bit, and I caught it on the drop cam, and we'll be sharing that in a vlog soon. So you be careful. The problem is there's a split in the couch right here because it's a sectional. So I'm always worried she's going to slip right there. You can sit right down on the couch there. There you go. Good job. See, Oakley on the couch. <laughs> okay, now back to these girls. Let's see. Fair warning again, it's going to get loud. Shelby, do you want to sing for everybody? Do you want to sing for everybody? Can you sing? Can you sing? Sing. Shelby, sing. Sing. Sing, Shelby. Good girl. Sing. Sing. Good girl. Sing. Sing. All the singing you had? All the singing you got in your system? That was it right there? Good job. Good job! You did so good! You did so good! Yeah, you did. You did so good. Hey, check that out. See? Oakley can even get down off the couch by herself. <laughs> uh, why? What made you get huskies out of any other dog breed? Video Gamings wants to know that. Um, I think it's the fact that they're so active. You know, everybody says that their dog is different and their breeds of dog is different, but huskies really are different. They want to be more your friend than they want to be your pet. They want to be your companion. They want to like be a part of everything you do. And I don't know, there's just something so special about that to me. It really, really, really makes the breed have a really special place in my heart. I mean, it really does. Whoa, Memphis. Memphis, what are you doing? Says, like, guys, I'm back here going crazy. Uh, Alicia says, have you ever had a boy husky? Not yet. It's not to say it won't happen, but not yet. It's just kind of worked out every time we've gotten a dog so far that they've been girls. Actually, our first dog was a boy. Um, the first dog Jamie and I ever had was a boy. And then... We just ended up with girls, just kind of how it ended up. Samantha Wood, thank you for the super chat, says, What blower do you recommend? I have a husky and I want to get one to blow his coat. Currently, I can only do it when I take him to the groomer. Um, I don't have the link for it in this. Actually, if you go down in the video description and you go to our Amazon store link, the blower that we use is listed on that page. So you can actually go there and find it. Whoa, hi, up close Oakley. Hi, up close Oakley nose. Hi, up close, Oakley Fur. Hi. Why do you, you guys crack me up? Oh, you crack me up. Dun, 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 dun. What are you doing? Does Shelby like fish? Yes, Shelby likes fish. What was the result on Shelby's lump? Uh, we've said it a couple times. Both of the lumps, the most recent lumps, were benign. The one on her neck and the one on her side did come back as benign. Who is John? Uh, which John? Like my brother John or my nephew John? Is that who you're talking about? Do you shave your huskies? No! No! I could yell that out loud. Please don't shave your huskies unless medically necessary. <laughs> is that a face? What in your face is that? Um, why are a lot of people who watch this? I don't know. How's my nephew John? He's good. I actually posted a picture of him on the Snow Dogs Vlogs Instagram yesterday if you guys want to go see it. He was so cute. I went out to lunch with my mom and my sister-in-law and they brought baby John Matthew. He's so cute. He's getting so big. 
How many toys do they have? Probably too many. How many Johns do I know? A lot. I actually do. My dad's name is John. My brother's name is John. My grandpa's name was John. <laughs> my nephew's name is John. McCann Dogs! Yay! Hi, guys! Thank you for the super chat. It says, just sending some love to those happy, playful huskies. <laughs> um, if you guys don't know who McCann Dogs is, you should definitely check them out. They just did the super chat. You can see it down below. Uh, go check them out. They have an awesome channel if you guys want to learn some cool stuff about dogs and training. and It's a really super cool channel. You should totally go check them out. Whoa, hi. How did Oakley get the name Fluffy Butt? Well, you tell me. Let's see here. How did she get the name Fluffy Butt? It's because she has a fluffy butt. <laughs> uh, dun, dun, dun. Does Shelby have cancer? Shelby had a malignant cancerous tumor on her tail. Does she still have cancer? We can't be 100% sure if it's gone. But all signs are pointing to the fact that it should be gone. But we're not 100% sure. I'm just a scavenger. Thank you for the super chat says they sang beautifully. Also have a random question. What are your thoughts on The Last Jedi? Specifically the Kylo and Rey dynamic. I know you are a Star Wars fan. Um, I liked the movie. I think they could have done things differently with it. The thing I least liked was when they talked about who Rey's parents were. And I'm not gonna spoil it because I'm not going to. Because there are still people that haven't seen it. Memphis found a twinkle star. I mean, it's not like it's hard to find one. We've only got a manjillion of them. <laughs> uh, hi, have, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Savannah says, hi, your dogs are so cute. How much do you get, how do you get your dogs to have so much energy but not Oakley? Uh, the dogs have energy on their own. I don't give that to them. <laughs> um, hi, Shirley. Thank you for the super chat. Um, it's okay that you can't hang, or hang out. We're not doing this for super long tonight. Um, as for energy, it comes with age as well. Memphis is only five. Oakley is almost 14. Shelby's 10. So, of course, of course, this dog has less energy. She's a lot older. But she did run with a sled today, and it was epic. It made my whole day. Do dogs eat meat? Uh, yes. Uh... Oakley will be 14. She'll be 14 in May. Rosa wants to know if we've ever used Chewy.com. Yes, we have. Oh, wait, I saw the $2 Super Chats for some reason don't highlight for me, so I have to, like, catch them as they go. Are you having, ever coming to Nova Scotia, Canada? We have some friends in Nova Scotia, Canada. That would be cool. We can come to Canada. We haven't done it yet. We've talked about taking trips to Toronto. Does Nora live in your town? Yes, Nora lives in our town. Is it hard to leave them when you go on vacation? They normally vacation with us. There's really only like one vacation that we really go on where we don't take them. It's definitely, um, there's definitely, most of the time, uh, we take them with us. Oh, hold on. My phone's being silly. There we go. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Make chips for dogs. Chips for dogs. That'd be fun. Oh, I hear that little twinkle star lady over there. I hear that little twinkle star going. <laughs> uh, what do you feed your dogs? We feed them a rotation of Dr. Tim's RPM and uh, Wellness Core Raw Rev. Husky Tail says, have you ever watched Iron Will? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Whoa, go... Val, thank you for the super chat. How many feet? What? Ah. Mike says, "Do you use do you use to create the dogs when you left the house?" Um, yeah, when they were little, we did. We created them when we, when they left the house, but we don't create them anymore. Livy wants to know why Oakley doesn't wag her tail. We don't know. She never has since the pretty much the moment we got her. The only time we've ever seen Oakley wag her tail is when she meets new dogs. Every once in a while, and not every time, just every once in a while when we meet a new dog, she wags her tail. But not always. Dun, 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 dun. Somebody said, what are the issues with your local shelter so far? I put a bunch of information and a bunch of the news stuff on our most recent vlog, if you want to go see some of that. There's a lot of drama and stuff going on with our local animal shelter. 
it's it's all sad. Uh, Ink Risher says favorite quality of all the dogs. Oh gosh, I don't even know the answer to that. You guys ask me that all the time. All the dogs really have their own unique personalities, and I love that. I love that they all really have a unique personality. I don't know what my favorite is of each dog. I love each dog for who they are. I really do. Ellie says you should make tacos for dogs. Am I the only one here that loves Tim Hortons? We have a Tim Hortons about 75 miles away from us. I do have tacos for dogs planned. I have it written down. So it's going to happen. Same thing with the sushi for dogs. I was going to do the sushi for dogs next, but then I remembered it's Valentine's Day. So I have to do the Valentine's Day treats next. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> how old? Okay. Ivy Nightfire says, how old were the dogs when you got them? And you're the best YouTuber. Well, you're awesome, Lana. I love you. Uh, they were all puppies except for Oakley. Oakley was... Gosh, she's 14, so she would have been, well, she'll be 14, so she would have been like 6 or 7 when we got her. Memphis is 4. Going on 5. You should do Valentine's Day treats for dogs. Yeah, we're going to do that. Who's the most obedient? Um, Shelby, even though she's the most stubborn. Shelby does listen for, well, I don't know. Actually, I think it's Memphis. Memphis can focus better than Shelby. So it's between Memphis and Shelby. Oakley doesn't know a whole lot of tricks and doesn't know a whole lot of commands and doesn't, like, it's just not something that we ever really did real well with her and her previous owners never did real well. We don't like to force her into doing things, so we never, like, forced anything like that on her because it was just easier for her. Uh, slash V2, slash 2, is that what that says? Thank you for the super chat. It says, any tips on adding a new pup to the pack? Getting a fluffy baby sister for my three-year-old in five weeks. Um, so when they're puppies, it's a lot easier than when they're adults. But if you can, I would try to do the transition slowly. Like maybe go see the puppy and see if you can get something that the puppy has laid on or played with. So your new dog can kind of get used to that smell. And then if you can have them meet kind of in like a neutral territory like maybe not necessarily right at your house so your current dog doesn't think what is this thing invading my personal space might help -na -na. i've been watching since shiloh you're awesome <laughs> uh, your videos make me want to move to michigan michigan is awesome i love michigan like i really do michigan is the best i might be a little bit biased but michigan is awesome <laughs> Doggy macaroons. I actually have that written down. I have a really cool idea of how to make doggy macaroons, too, and make some really cool colors and stuff. Snowflake Stars 14, thank you for the super chat. Roxy says, how's the best way to travel with dogs? I need to travel with my husky for eight hours on the road. What do you recommend for us to do? Now, we've talked about this quite a few times. I actually want to do a full breakdown video on this for long-term travel with pets. Um... Make sure that you stop and take breaks at least every two hours at minimum, depending on the age of your dog. Sometimes if they're sleeping and it's two hours and they're, you feel like they're sleeping good, you can keep going. But notice when they wake up so you can let them out. Make sure you have water and food with you. Don't feed them too much or let them drink too much while you're traveling because sometimes dogs can get car sick. Um, but just pay attention. It's, it's really not that hard to travel with dogs. You just got to be prepared. Music Notes 113, thank you for the super chat, says, What made you decide on Shelby and Memphis's names? Um, Memphis is named after Memphis, Tennessee, and Shelby is named after uh, the Shelby Mustang or Shelbyville, Tennessee. A lot of the dogs have, like, southern roots names. Memphis's name is actually, like, Memphis Bell. Um, I have a lot of family from down south, and I don't know, it was just something we started doing, and then we thought it was kind of fun. Oakley came with her name. I don't really think the next dog will have the same type of name. But it was kind of just something we started doing because we thought it was fun. Shelby's name is actually uh, from the Shelby Mustang from the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. And then we kind of were like, oh, Memphis from Memphis Reigns from Go the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. So they're kind of like, their names are kind of linked together like that, which is funny. <laughs> uh. Dun, 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 dun. Somebody said hi, Jamie. 
Oh, he might be down in the comments. I didn't see it because I was reading a I was reading a comment. Where'd you get Memphis? We got Memphis from Dexter, Michigan. Muffins for dogs? We've done muffins for dogs. Do a meet and greet in a big tour bus. You could greet fans in dog stores, dog stores like Petco or PetSmart. I'm sure Petco would let us do that, but it would be getting the funding for it. Getting the funding. We'd have to get a lot of sponsors to sponsor a tour like that. And we'd probably just get a motorhome, not a tour bus. It'd be fun. It'd be super fun. I'd love to travel across the country with the dogs stopping at places and meeting you guys. I think that'd be awesome. I'm currently working with CVX Live. That's in Utah. And I'm trying to get them to allow us to bring the dogs to CVX Live. VidCon won't have anything to do with it. VidCon's huge, though. They have, like, 26,000 people that show up at VidCon. VidCon won't let us bring the dogs unless we get a booth. And they're very expensive. I don't want to get a booth in the expo hall at VidCon because it's so loud. I don't think that would be fair to the dogs. Um, so we're, we're not going to do that. But we might be able to bring them to CVX Live, which is in Utah, which wouldn't be so bad. They also might be going to the West Michigan Pet Expo if those people will ever email me back. We kind of started talking about it, and they seemed really excited to have the girls be there and do like we do at the Novi Pet Expo with a booth and everything, but they haven't emailed me back. They've been really bad with communication, so I don't know if we're going to be there or not. If we are, though, I'll be sure to let you guys know so that if you're anywhere close to Grand Rapids, because it's, it's held just outside of Grand Rapids or inside Grand Rapids, we might be there. Might be, might be, might be. What? I'm here in the comments. FYI, around 25 minutes, Shelby winks. Oh, everybody rewind the stream. Shelby winked. <laughs> uh. Shelby's doing really good for any of you that have just recently joined her most recent two lumps, the one on her neck and the one on her side. Both came back as benign, so we are celebrating that. Uh, we also talked about it in a vlog. There's a link down in the comments to our vlog channel. You can go check that out. We talked about it a little bit. Alpha Beta Gamma says, when's your next camping trip? There's ice on the ground. And we don't have an all-seasons camper. So, when the ice melts. Val says, my dog loves to lick. Do you have any remedies? Are they licking, like, themselves? Or are they licking, like, what are they licking? Sometimes dogs are just compulsive lickers. Oakley's a compulsive licker. I think she does it because she has anxiety. Is Texas a suitable environment for a husky? Um, there are a lot of people in Texas that own huskies. We, we've talked about this many times. You basically just have to be smart about it and make sure that, you know, when you're hot, they're probably way hotter. So make sure you keep them cool. Who is Shiloh? I actually just did a video on this. If you go to our main channel and click on videos, there's actually a video on it. On who she was. Um, so you can definitely go check that out. That yawn. <laughs> Why is Shelby a diva? I don't know. I ask her that all the time. <laughs> I thought you were going to give me the evil eye, Shelby. 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 Do you want to sing again? What was that face? Do you want to sing? You want to sing? Want to sing, sing your pretty voice to everybody? It's been a few minutes since you sang. Do you want to sing? Shelby, want to sing for everybody? Sing! 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 Oh, what happened? Sing! Sing! Good girl. Sing. Sing. I sing again. Sing. You're so good at singing. What was that? That is the best derp face ever. Look at that derp face you got going on right now. You're biting your you're biting your lip right there. You you're biting your you're biting your lip. Wow. Somebody screenshot that, meme it, and send it to me. <laughs> uh, oh I missed the super chat. 
Soulmate Sives. Hey guys, hello from my pack to yours. Thank you so much for the support on your Facebook cha page when I shared my muzzled girl. It means so much to us. You know, I believe that that's something that um, I would really like to talk more about. Like, I think that that was really educational. I'm sorry that some people didn't understand that, but I, I totally understand. I've worked with um, dogs that were either dog aggressive or people aggressive that were saved because they were able to be muzzle trained and their lives were saved because of it. And I, I think some people look past that. Uh, Rosa, thank you for the super chat. Video you made at GTA TSD with dogs in the snow was beautiful. I've rewatched it many times. Yeah, a lot of people said that that video didn't show up in their sub box. If you go to our main channel, this channel, go to the main page and watch our most recent video. Um, there is, uh, hold on a second. There was a cool video that we put up the other day, uh, Wednesday, and it was the dogs out in the snow, and it had just started to snow, and Jamie even said it. We looked outside, and he's like, it's so pretty out, and it was. So I took the camera out there, and I just filmed the dogs in the snow and then put together a video with it, and it's probably one of my favorite videos I've done in a really long time. It reminds me of the old school Wordless Wednesday. Those of you that have been around for a while will remember Wordless Wednesday. It just reminded me of a Wordless Wednesday video where you go out and you just, you know, you kind of just enjoy the dogs for dogs. Dark Phantom, thank you for the super chat. It says, I sent $20 earlier. <laughs> uh, it, the super chat things are weird. For some reason, I wonder if I do this, if it'll work. Oh, maybe. See, it doesn't let me see all of them. I don't understand that. If I click one and then go to the other, it doesn't let me see them all. I'm sorry. Did you have a question with it? Oh, see, and now I locked up the chat entirely. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> oh, I wonder if I can... Here. You, whoa. Sit right there and see Memphis for a second. I wonder if I can see it from here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, because now I broke the live chat entirely. And I see it here. Let's find out. Oh, I see your other your other super chat, Dark Phantom. Um, thank you for both of them. You are amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I broke the chat on my phone. Now I can't read it, and I'm afraid to click this button again. Cause okay, I'm gonna click it again. Hopefully, the stream doesn't freak out. Oh. Yeah, I fixed it. Did I fix it? I fixed it. Good. Good. I was afraid that was going to break it. <laughs> uh, Adriana says, my dog hates to eat his food. Sometimes he'll go three days without eating. I've tried switching food multiple times. Can you give me some tips of what I can do? So, trust me, I totally know what you mean because that is how Shelby has been for forever. Um, on this new Wellness Core Raw Rev, though, she absolutely loves it, and I haven't had a problem with it. But we always did different things to switch up Shelby's food, putting a little bit of cheese on top of it, putting different things on top of it just to entice her to eat. Um, maybe keep trying different foods and see if you can find something that they actually enjoy. What time is it? Pulling in. Oakley's right here. She's right there. There's Miss Oakley. <laughs> There's a Miss Oakley. Yeah, I think Oakley needs out too. I saw I saw you say that, Jamie. I definitely think she needs outside. Um, that's okay, because we kind of got to go anyway. I got home from a meeting and decided to do this live show with you guys real quick. So, I thought we'd do this. Um, <laughs> somebody else asked about Shiloh. I just did a whole video. I didn't see the whole question, but I just did a whole video about Shiloh. If you go on our page, you can check it out. We are going to go ahead and end this live stream for now. Uh, if you want, there are some links down in the video description. One is to our vlog channel. One is to our cooking channel. If you aren't subscribed to those, you should definitely go check them out. And then there is the link to our calendars, our 2018 Gone to the Snow Dogs calendars. There's not that many of them left, but they are on sale for $15. So if you haven't gotten a 2018 calendar yet, you should definitely go grab one while they're on sale. I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. And what else? Hi, Fluffy Butt. We're going to let Oakley outside because she's pacing. I think she needs to go out. You need to go out? That's how we know. She doesn't bark. She does this. She paces. <laughs>
Uh, thanks once again for joining us. Also, um, down in the video description below, there's a link to our Facebook group. We have a group on Facebook. You can either go to Facebook and search for Gone to the Snow Dogs Podience, and it will come up with a group, not a page, an actual group. And uh, at request to join it, I'll make sure to add you guys. The group is kind of cool because it's uh, basically a whole bunch of you guys, a whole bunch of Podience members. You could post pictures of your own pets. You can kind of interact with us on there. It's a lot of fun. There's like almost 8,000 Podience members in that group already. It's, it's super fun. We have a lot of fun with it. I love being able to talk to you guys on there and see pictures of you guys as pets and you know, answer questions on there. So there's a link to that down below or just search Gone to the Snow Dogs Podience on Facebook and you will find the group if you want to become a part of the group. But we're going to go ahead and go. All right, you guys, as always, if you are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Want to say bye? Can you say bye? Say bye, guys. Love you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.